。パラダイス。あ、ちょうど呼びに行こうと思っていたんです。あの、このシャツの色なら、どちらのネクタイが合うと思いますか。
No, a full-time job is like nine hours a day, right? Even that barely cut it, though. Nine hours a day, five days a week. I wasn't starving or anything, but I certainly wasn't living a luxury, a life of luxury. <laughs> By the way, I said originally, I said the first time I played this, I bet you're, I said something like, are you wicked, Azuman? I know it's like a form of expression. Trust me, I've heard it before. To put it bluntly, I was friggin' broke. You and me both. I shoved my painfully light wallet and app-riddled phone into the pocket of my jeans. Then I styled my hair like usual, threw on the same outfit I was wearing a few days ago, and headed out without breakfast. I felt hideously lethargic, but I had to push through. After all, if I didn't work, I didn't eat. That's the spirit. So went my daily routine and my live-to-work life. To get to the neighborhood convenience store I worked at, you had to cut through the shopping street, whether you were walking or cycling. Once I was through, I sometimes switched up the route, but I always loved wending my way through the bustling, chaotic street. Pachinko parlors, flower stores, game centers, phone stores, and secondhand clothes stores lined the road, and the smell of food filled the air. That was a little weirdly worded by me, not the game. Being somewhere so overflowing with life made me feel alive, too. Exactly. We ain't gonna worry about a gas bill right this minute, Azuma. We got bigger things to worry about, like getting to work. I figured this place would end up I figured this place would empty out after the new department store at the station was finished, but the old shopping district was still clinging on. The low prices are probably part of it, but there also seemed to be some stroke of luck in its consistent ability to thrive. This morning, the downtown area was as peacefully chaotic as ever. Oh, you're sweet. I stopped in front of the butchers. Chicken thighs were 60 yen per gram. Now that's a deal you can't miss. <laughs> Let me try that one more time because I sneezed. Now that's a deal you can't pass up. The old butcher hailed me with his usual friendly greeting. I didn't cook for myself every day, but I stopped by the butchers fairly often, so he knew my face. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna take a jello shot, hold on. I'm calling it a jello shot either way. It's kinda sort of what it is. Dame! Toriyoki wa hoka no okyak san no mo kotowatten no. Iba katte ge yo! Konbini ni datte reizo ko kura yan daro. That would be kinda gross though, wouldn't it? あるけど、みんなジュースくらいしか入れねえもん。隣に生肉あったら絶対文句言われるって。あのな、ワンナ。ワンゴーン・ラムシーハブフィットアバウトダット。ワイアーズ・ブロディ・チキン・タイズ・
the butcher store behind and the billboard quickly vanished from the sight behind crowds of housewives and school kids. No house husbands? Maybe Japan doesn't believe in house husbands. A few hours later, I was on my way back home after an uneventful shift. <sighs> also, I don't know how, how often, I don't know how rare it is for like single fathers in Japan compared to single mothers. One of my co-workers, oh shit, that name, Ogino, invited me out for drinks at the end of our shift, but I wasn't in the mood. I'm not much of a socializer, so Ogino didn't push. Still, he seemed to like me for some reason, and he was always inviting me out to do this or that with him. Just a few days ago, he asked me to come camping with him and some buddies. I turned him down. Huh. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Azuma, there's no shame in being around lonely men after all. Or liking only men, I don't know. I grumbled to myself as I peeked into the butcher shop. Thankfully, there were still a few choice cuts left. Otsukare-san! Mada torimo mo nogotteru ze! Yatta! Ja, soko no katama ni zemu chodai! Ayo! しかし、ずいぶん買うね。全部で2kg以上じゃねえか。友達と鍋でもすんの。それとも冷凍よ。なんだ、just just like a single man. Plus, even if I didn't eat it all, it'd keep for a couple of days. I swear, curry is a bachelor's best friend. Now, see, I was wondering about that in um, the first playthrough. I was wondering if, like, Ozma doesn't like vegetables because it brings up bad memories, or if he doesn't like vegetables literally just because he thinks they're gross. Like, I don't know if vegetables were forced on him when he was a kid, and that's why he doesn't like them, or if he just simply doesn't like vegetables. Like, I don't like fruit. I don't have traumatic histories with fruit. I don't have a traumatic history with fruit. I just don't like fruit. I used to like fruit, but I don't know. When I got older, I just didn't like fruit anymore. He doesn't have a girlfriend, but he damn sure will have a boyfriend. Maybe, probably, kind of, sort of, at the end of this game. I don't know. Because he's going to have a boyfriend, maybe, sort of, kind of. Possibly. The butcher shrugged as though I were a hopeless case for me. I was about to read a hopeless romantic. Then gave me a desolate look. There's some good ass jalos out. Cool, sympathy. I didn't have much use for it, but figured I might as well take him up on his kindness. I could go for some sympathy. <laughs> I handed over to- <laughs> no, I wouldn't. No, I couldn't. I handed over two 1,000 yen bills and received my bag of meat in return. Okay, I thought something was crawling on me. Then the butcher also passed me a slip of paper that looked like some sort of ticket. Hmm. What is this? 
The thin bit of paper fluttered in the breeze as I held it between my fingertips. By the way, um, you probably can't really tell with my avatar, but I did add a wind effect to it. Um, her hair might be blowing a little bit to the left or right. I'm not sure. I can't see. ごはくんで一枚渡すことになってんだ。商店街の北と南の隅っこでガラガラ回せるから。ごはくんで一枚。As とりあえず、運試ししてこいよ。商店街の隅って結構歩くじゃん。いいよ。明日一なら他の人にやって。俺、福引きとか興味ねえし。それ一枚だけ残しといても仕方ねえよ。明日になりゃまた新しい券もら
大丈夫っす Can't deny that. The guy came across as a salesman, but he spoke the truth. じゃあ早速行ってみましょうかガラガラの回し方大丈夫っすよね一枚なんで一回回してもらっていいっすか Didn't, but good to know now. He encouraged me to spin the wheel that picked. Oh, he encouraged me to spin the wheel then picked up a handbell. Mja. I grabbed the handle on the raffle drum and gave it a quick spin. I just wanted to get my prize and go home. At last, the drum spat out a golden ball. Gold, huh? Pretty auspicious color. Oh, a pretty auspicious color, but who knows? I was fine with a packet of tissues or whatever. I've never heard of them giving just a packet of tissues if you want something like, you know, if you just win something, but you don't win the big prize. I held out a hand, expecting my packet of tissues while glancing around to see if there was any sort of chart of ball colors in their corresponding prizes. Well, I didn't read that correctly, that's for sure. Then I noticed that the staff member was peering down at the ball, his eyes like saucers. The next moment, he started to ring the bell. Itto! Itto! Oh, Atari! Huh? えちょ反応薄くないっすかそこもっと喜ぶとこっすよこれすごいんすけど一等っすよあマジシャコラーリズムだめりてんきんいでんエグザジュレーテッドフィスパンポーズそりゃあよかった。<笑>トガジマ5泊6日の旅なんすよパンフと船のチケット中に入ってるんで絶対どっちもなくさないように気ぃつけてくださいね日程とか事前準備とかはパンフに大体書いてあるんで当日までに結構細かく見といた方が多分いいっすあっちで忘れ物発覚とかシャレになんないんでつうかこれちょっとテンション上がんないっすか島の旅行にタダで行けるんすよマジその砂感じゃもったいないですって the lottery ありがとうね<笑>あとはこれあれまだなんかあんのはいこの用紙に名前と電話番号住所を書いてもらっていいですか Hmm. Now, he's not writing down his age or anything, so. あなんか、福引きを主催してる旅行会社の人が、旅行の日程のことで連絡したいとかって言ってて。So, how did this travel agency like pick out the people that ended up on the island? 
Like, did they somehow look into, like, who they are through their social media or just however the hell you find people these days? I scribbled my name and number down on the paper. The hand of the paper filled in with my spidery handwriting back to the guy and he looked it over with a nod. Uh, But the guy had gone back to packing up before I'd even finished thanking him. Dodging the oncoming flow of people, I lugged the bag of meat along in one hand and stared down at the envelope held in the other. I gave the envelope a shake. It felt heavy enough to contain a brochure. Looking up as I reached the end of the shopping arcade, I saw that the clouds had blanketed the sky. The cl oh. I saw that the clouds had blanketed the sky, had cleared to reveal pretty sunset. Wait a minute. I saw that the clouds that had blanketed the sky had cleared to reveal. Okay. One little sentence, and I just can't. Some... <laughs> さえもに旅行したのは高校の友達と卒業記念に行ったきりだっけ。島なんてめったに行けるもんじゃねえし、この機会に行っておくってのもいいか。Since the trip itself was free, I shouldn't need too much money for other expenses. Oh, well, you're not going to need any money for this one. But you will need some prayers. And I should have just about enough savings to handle taking a week off from work. Or some cute, or some cute bros. Suddenly the choice seemed obvious. First things first, I had to find someone to cover my shifts. It, it's actually really interesting in this game how there aren't even any female characters to begin with. Uh, Personally, that's how I like a BL game, kind of, sort of. Looking at you, Hadaka Shitsuji. Kyo,いや、何もねえよ。ただちょっと頼み事。いきなりでマジ申し訳ないんだけどさ。来週のシフト、まるっと俺と交換してくんない? うん。福引きで旅行当たった。マジで一等だった。商店街でやってるやつ。5泊6日。おお、知ってる?お前もやったの。マジかよ、ティッシュかよ。残念だったな。うん。店長が誰かと交代すんならいいって。あいや、他のやつにも当たってみるつもりだから
。えマジでいいのやったーああ。<笑>見上げは2倍な。了解。じゃあ、再来週のシフトは、お前のと全部交代でいいオッケー。ほんとありがとう。マジで助かった。うん。うん。<笑>じゃあな、おやすみ。I hung up the call and tossed my phone aside. After getting permission from our boss, Ogino was the first person I called, since I was relatively since I was relatively more friendly with him than anyone else. <sighs> Masaka, Maji de Oke, Stemoreto, Motanagatara. You got the Yokata. I'm sorry, I have jello in my mouth. Sure, he grumbled about it not being fair and said I should take him with me, but he acquiesced pretty readily. Exactly, don't burn the curry. When to check on the pot, I set to boil before I called Ogino and saw that the chicken only curry was simmering nicely. An appetizing smell filled the room. Now I kind of want <laughs> chicken curry, even though I, I still am not 100% sure if curry is like something like rice or if it's just spices. I hadn't looked at the details yet. I only glanced over the dates before making my calls. I sat down on the floor in the living room and opened up the pamphlet. <laughs> A gaudy font proclaimed the following. Oh my god. Is it supposed to look like this? <laughs> Get back to nature. Maybe even try your hand at a little self sufficiency on the Togajima Island exploration tour. Program six days, five nights, meeting time, 7 a.m. Meeting place, Okiami Harbor in front of Asanagi 2. Whatever that means. I read that part earlier. Tsuka, Togajima, te doko yo? Kita koto mo ne namai da na. Okay, in this day and age, he could totally have looked that up on like Google. So, I don't know if Togajima is like a fake island or a real island in this case in the game. I don't even know if it's a real island in real life. Okay, Brenda from Scary Movie. Just as I was turning the page to see if there was a map on the island, my phone rang. You know that scene I'm talking about where like, she screams and then she says, Lord, I'm about to have a heart attack. Grabbing my phone from atop the bed behind me, I looked down at the screen to see a familiar number. I'm sorry, now I'm picturing Ozuma like placing his hand over his heart, <laughs> kind of like acting like that. And it's just the image just is getting to me. I didn't have everyone from work in my contacts, so figuring that was probably what it was about, I answered the call. Hi! Konotabi wa Togajima Gohaku Muika no Tabi no Goto Sen. Honto ni omede to gozaimasu! Ah! 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 Was his name there last time? Did we know his name last time? Shotengai no Tanto Shakara, Renna Koke Maste, Torisoki Odenwa Itashimasta, Yabuni Moshake Gozaimase. Yeah, hi, Dajobu, sir. I guess so, because it's in yellow. After seeing that the name and company he gave me were indeed written on the pamphlet, I relaxed. The lottery guy said I'd have to speak directly to the company if the trip was cancelled or anything. So it made sense that they'd get in touch. Okay, 
と申しますのもパンフレットをご覧いただいていればご存知かと思うのですが今回の旅行はツアー式となっておりましてああはい。日程やお時間が決まっておりますのでご都合が悪いようでしたらご参加はお見送りという形になってしまうんですああその点は大丈夫です休みが取れることになったんで。さようでございますかよかったですそれでは東様はご参加ということでよろしいでしょうかはいそれでいいですはいありがとうございましたこれで東様の旅行名簿へのご登録は完了ですでは何かございましたら田辺宛てにご連絡くださいウィス当日はよろしくお願いしますこちらこそよろしくお願いいたしますそれでは失礼いたしますさて食うぞ死ぬほど well, that sounds exciting. We hope you enjoy the island experience of eating with the wind in your hair. That sounds gross. I don't like eating outside. I don't like outside in general. The boat will return to pick us up on day six. <laughs> That's funny because it won't be returning. If you have any questions, please ask the tour guide. Oop. Mujin to. Mujin. No one told me that. All the excitement abruptly left me, and I sat down heavily on a nearby bench. I'll wait till you see. So, wait till you see the men we have to pick from Azuma, except Takara. It was a few days. <laughs> It was a few days since my conversation with the guy from the travel agency. Now, on the day of the trip, I was finally looking over the fine print in the pamphlet. The boat was moored before me. All that was left was for me to board it. In an effort to scrape together a little more cash before the trip, I had filled my days with early shifts and overtime. Oh, you ain't gonna need money, honey. And as thanks to Ogino for covering my shifts during the trip, I went out drinking with him most nights, hanging out into the small hours. I was so busy that, despite looking forward to the trip, I failed to look up the island, and the only prep I did was throwing stuff into a bag. I didn't have time to pack all the little things to make my dream trip to. <laughs> I didn't have time to pack all the little things to make the dream trip I envisioned a reality. In the end, all I had with me was a single backpack stuffed with the bare essentials, a few changes of clothes, toiletries, and a towel. More like three towels. <laughs> 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 <Yeah-bee>. <laughs> 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 I guess if Azuma can make hella good curry, 
I can make hella good vodka infused jello. Tsuka Mujinto? Don't leave it, Naruto. Images of tents and Swiss army knives popped into my head. It's not a. It's not a military camp. But then I remembered the log cabins. It probably. It probably wasn't going to be that primitive. But no people? My mental images of southern trop My mental images of southern tropics like Hawaii and Guam melted away in divisions of a survivalist nightmare. That's right. Are these prissy little women going to be able to handle being around some men on an island? There aren't going to be any women. You know what? I'm giving points for saying women and not females. No, I will complain as much as I want to. Fucking thank you very much. Sunlight glinted off the distant horizon and waves lapped gently against the side of the big white boat that bobbed atop the water. Resting my elbow on my backpack beside me, I gazed out at the view from the bench on the waterfront. The only boat moored in the harbor was the gleaming white one before me. It was bigger and fancier than I'd expected. I'd probably never ride another like it, unless I somehow became best buds with a celebrity. I really, truly regretted not coming on this trip fully prepared for it. I was doomed from the get-go. A sudden voice snapped me out of my reverie, and I looked up to see a attractive, well-dressed elder gentleman. <laughs> and I looked up to see a attractive, uh, and I looked up to see a well-dressed older gentleman holding a big folder, who just also happened to be rather attractive. His handsome face was refined and genteel, but the casual cut of his suit gave him a relaxed, open demeanor. He smiled pleasantly at me, awaiting my response. Plot twist, what if they actually do- What if we've actually all met before and we just don't know it? The man's smile widened. Thank you. He didn't do much tour guiding for us last time, so. Ah, Tenjoin Sanska! And Totsen Koe Kakarata got a baby chop. Sumasa. It's kind of more like the head of a counselor, you know? Counselor. He's kind of more like the head of like a camp where he's like, I'm here if you need me because I'm the headmaster, headmaster, because I am the founder of this camp or whatever. Like, kind of like camp buddy. Did we get what I mean at all? Which you probably don't trust me, I don't even know what I meant. Hongo bowed to me and I returned an awkward head bob from my seated position. Then he closed the boulder and stowed it under his arm. そんなに貸し込まらなくても結構ですよ。これから私たちは衣食住を共にするんですから。仲良くやりましょう。what if he has a picture of Azuma in there? The corner of his eyes crinkled as he smiled. He came across as polite and friendly. Yes. Ah. あの、質問いいですか。天井員の人って本郷さんだけなんですか？After all, he was expecting a hot, attractive woman. 
小規模のツアーですしログハウスに泊まれる人数の関係もございまして。俺の他には何人くらいいんのあと8名いらっしゃいますねえー、意外と多いな俺と同じで福引きで当たった人たちいいえ中にはそういう方もいらっしゃいますが今回のご旅行はあくまでツアーですから。個人的にお申し込みいただいた方の方が多いですねまあ俺と同年代のやついる、oh, like、そうですね参加者の皆さんは話が合いそうな5年代の方ばかりですよ全部で十棟ございまして、一人一棟ずつご利用になれます。小さなログハウスですので、広々とは使っていただけないかもしれませんが、窮屈に感じるほど狭くはないと思いますよ。寝室はもちろんベッドですし、木の壁なんかも風情があって、リラックスできるお部屋ですはい。五泊六日の無人島の旅ですからね。さまざまな安全面を考慮いたしまして、女性の方は。I don't think I want to really imagine an all-female version of this type of game, because、um, I think I might actually get really irritated by it. He trailed off. <sighs> so there weren't any. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been hoping for some kind of meat cute. Actually, I'd been planning my hopes on it, and the disappointment must have been evident on my face. <laughs> so, Zanen no Kao Nasarazuni. Otoko Dakete Kirakana Tabinga de Kirinante. Steki Janai Deska. Hm. Layon, eh? Hm. Still, it wasn't the end of the world, and a clap on my slumped shoulder from Hongo was enough to make me to get me feeling more positive. Sure, there were no girls, and we had to cook for ourselves. That second one would piss me the fuck off. But I was on vacation. <laughs> But I was on vacation for the first time in forever. To me, a vacation is not being. is not having to cook for myself. No. A vacation to me would be someone else cooking for me, not me having to cook for myself. I do that at home enough as it is. Thank you. Just then I heard the sound of a chugging exhaust pipe from the direction of the road and looked over to see a bus pulling into the stop. Both Hongo and I leaned over to winch. So, you know, Azuma san, what do you do here? What do you do here? 電車、途中から歩き。You could have also just said I had a friend drop me off. へえ、駅からここまで結構距離ありますけど、若いって素晴らしいですね。I couldn't exactly tell him I was too stingy to pay for a bus ticket, so I just smiled vaguely, then turned back to look at the distant bus. 
I don't know, does that make him vain? That just kind of seems like a normal thing you might want to hide. Like, god damn it, I'm so fucking poor, I couldn't even afford a bus ticket. I mean, it's not sympathy. Most people can't afford shit in their lives. Some billionaires. And most millionaires. Maybe all millionaires. Actually, probably not all millionaires. Eventually, some millionaires do run out of money. They also don't pay their taxes. I'm getting off topic. Most of the people who got off headed in the opposite direction to the port, leaving behind the four guys who started walking in our direction. Either they were already friends or they'd gotten to know one another on the bus because they seemed to be chatting happily together. That's our first um, foursome who are, you know, going to die because we don't give a shit about them. Glancing down at his file, Hongo hurried over to the approaching men. I was craning my neck to get a better look at the group when I spotted a small guy struggling down the steps to the harbor with a large suitcase. I wasn't usually one to go out of my way to help others, but I suppose being on vacation had me feeling magnanimous as I didn't even hesitate. With my backpack in one hand, I approached the stone steps surrounded by seat seat. Surrounded by salt bleached weeds. Oh my no. And here's our first guy. I called up to him and I saw the boy silhouette backlit by the sun twitch in surprise. Oh Tetsnaoka! Oops, maybe I shouldn't have just grabbed the case. <laughs> Oops, maybe I should have just grabbed the case without saying anything. Guys never want to say yes to offers of help. Oh, Well, I guess this one did. There's gotta be more in that suitcase than just clothes to make it that heavy. Because he doesn't even change his clothes throughout the whole game. Grateful for his ready acceptance of my help, I bounded up the stairs and, pe and peeled the guy's weak grip off the handle so I could grab it. <sighs> the case was unexpectedly heavy. Sorry, I'm yawning. Throwing me off balance and my foot almost slipped right off the edge of the step. <laughs> no way can that suitcase be that heavy. Isn't it on wheels? No, it's not, I guess. My heart leapt into my throat, and I think I deserve some sort of prize for managing not to shriek. Jo I tried to act like nothing happened, but I guess he noticed. <laughs> but I just raised my free hand to assure him. I was the one who offered to help, I couldn't back down now. Yeah, I'm kind of vain, but so what? <laughs> Personally, I don't see that as vain, Azuma. I see that more as just a common reaction. Regardless of your gender. No, honey, there's gotta be a gun in there or something. This question was obviously just lip service. The way his hand hovered around the handle but didn't actually touch it was proof of that. <laughs> Damn, at this rate, I was going to bust a blood vessel. 
carefully hefted the case down one step at a time as the guy watched me anxiously. Well, I'm Ash, and I think keeping mice and rats as pets is the most abnormal thing in the world, and it's disgusting. Thought I'd introduce myself as well. Takra's big eyes crinkled as he smiled at me. He seemed like a pretty expressive guy, and his smile was infectious. I wonder how old he was. He looked to be younger than me. Just as I was about to ask his age, I spotted another figure striding down the stairs behind him. In no time at all, the new guy had caught up to where we were standing halfway down the flight. This guy also had a big case, and the stairs didn't leave much room for him to pass us. I moved as far to the side as I could, trying to get out of his way. <laughs> oh, oh. But the man slammed into my shoulder, knocking me off balance. My body tilted dangerously. <laughs> Takara blanched, and he quickly reached out a hand toward me. Thankfully, I managed to grab hold of the railing and avoid going tumbling down the stairs. <sighs> Taker brought his outstretched hand back to his own chest, looking incredibly relieved. But I had other concerns. <laughs> I spun around to glare down at the guy's back as he continued down the stairs as though nothing had happened. I suppose I was somewhat at fault for standing around in the middle of the steps and getting in the way, but even fucking so... The sound of his descending footsteps stopped. And there he is. Azuma's man from before. <laughs> or Azuma's man from the previous playthrough. The other man looked up at me in annoyance, his white blonde hair fluttering in the breeze. How attractive. He stared intently into my face for a few long moments. The only movement he made was several slow blades. I felt like it was being analyzed. <sighs> I was waiting for the guy to offer me an apology. <laughs> but in the end, he said nothing, his lips twisting into a smirk. The hell? I wasn't even going to say sorry. I wasn't even going to say. He wasn't even going to say sorry. I would have happily repeated it if he genuinely hadn't heard me, but his next words dispelled that illusion. <sighs> the guy let out an exasperated sigh. I don't think I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. His tone prickled with criticism. Azuma, I guess it makes sense. You were in the way and he was trying to get down the stairs. There I was thinking he was about to apologize and now he was telling me it was my fault too. My eyes widened in disbelief. I tried to get out of his damn way. <laughs> Still looking up at me, the blonde bastard tilted his head and chin up at me defiantly. Well, you know you loved that blonde bastard last time. What caused a wave of irritation to boil through me? It's not like I wanted a fight or anything, but I couldn't let him leave without having my say. <laughs> Did you though? The blonde bastard spoke over me. I don't blame him. 
What the hell? What did this fucker just say? The blonde bastard stared down as I stood there at a loss, rendered speechless by his attitude. Then his brows knit together and he sighed impatiently. <sighs> Taku. Nanda tsundayo, omaiwa. He's Azumanga Dayo. And now he was insulting me. I really feel like I don't remember this conversation. I remember that, that's for sure. I wondered if this is what people meant when they talked about seeing red. Props. That was a good combat, Cosmo. I was so mad I couldn't even form words. Sounds like me. On a daily basis, all the time, every day, every second, every minute, every hour. Giving me giving me one last scornful look, the blonde bastard spun on his heel and stomped off. He left me with that one final insult. Without a backward glance, he briskly descended the rest of the stairs. We were still on the stairs when this happened. Exactly how many Exactly how many steps are on this freaking bus? My voice trembled with barely suppressed rage. The gel is still in my mouth. I wanted to toss the luggage aside, chase after that blonde asshole, and beat him to a pulp. Or, you want to chase after that blonde asshole and tell him how much you adore him. Neither one works for me. Hate does mean love in a BL game. Takra glanced toward the douchebag's receding form, then leaned in to speak to me in a low voice as I stood there seething. なんだよ、止めんなよ。あわやらかしそうになったんだぞ、おい。しかも、うるせえとか、話しかけんなとか、うるせえとか。ありえねえだろ。それはわかるけどさ、あんな大きい荷物持ってるんだから、多分あの人
I didn't think my original reaction was immature, but seeing Takura's relief, I figured I might as well do as he said. Turning around to see what Goldilocks was up to now, I saw that he'd already reached the boat. Even looking at him from this distance pissed me off all over again. Yeah, I already felt it from our previous brief interaction, but... The dude was a complete poser. He was gross and annoying. I wasn't gonna go anywhere near the guy. Nuh-uh. <laughs> This is so childish, Ozuma. <laughs> In all the kerfuffle, ah, oh, that word, I hadn't noticed someone approaching the foot of the stairs beneath us. Oi! So kono ishitotachi! And there is the Papa Bear himself. At the loud, clear cry, we turned to look down at another man who jerked his thumb toward the boat bobbing on the waves. Are we still on the stairs for the bus? I mean... Spurred on by his words, we hurried down the rest of the stairs. Since it was slowing me down, we decided to carry the heavy case between us. But between the tiny handle and the narrow stairs, we had a hard time coordinating and probably ended up going even slower. Yes! I assumed that would be the problem. Oh my god, we're finally on the fucking boat. The boat set sail as soon as Takura and I were on board. Everyone was gathered on the deck with their luggage and doing their own thing. After thanking me for helping him with his suitcase, Takura headed below the deck. Never having been on a boat before, I was amazed at how luxurious it was, by how close we were to the water, and how loud the engines were. I roved around the deck, watching the mainland fade into the distance. As the sound of the waves filled the air, the vibrant landscape paled into a haze of mist. Sanaba, Hondo yo. I wouldn't see it again for the next six days, times two. At this, wait, no, I think they were only on the island for really about ten days, weren't they? At this thought, I felt both a sense of freedom and homesickness. Everyone turned their attention to where Hongo stood in the middle of the deck. Kore kara no yote wa sujikan no cruising no nochi. Jugo ji goro ni Togajima ni jorik suri yote des. Sendai ni wa keishok ya drink o junbi shite gozaimas. Mata dan wa shitsu ya デッキの休憩スペースもご利用いただけますよ。海を眺めるもよし、交流を深めるもよし。皆様、楽しいひとときをお過ごしください。apartment complex I live in, Jehovah's Witnesses. So I pulled my window blinds all the way down so hopefully they couldn't see into my window and notice I'm like here. <laughs> Cause fuck that. Mongo bowed and we were all about to disperse when a voice stopped us in our tracks. Yep. Hi kitty. It was the guy who hailed me and Takura earlier. はい、なんでしょうか。短い付き合いとはいえ、こんな少人数なんだ。島じゃ一緒に過ごすことになるわけだし。Oh my god, I just realized this warm just reminded me of Taku from Slow Damage. Uh... 
今後楽しくやりやすいんじゃないかって思ったんだけど。いいんじゃない The first to respond was a guy wearing a black leather biker jacket. As he spoke, he ran his hand over the camera hanging around his neck. Nanika, Yoji got the Tokini, Choto Sogorohito, the Yobi Kakerno Monandashi. Mata, Aratamate Atsmate, Jiko Shoka, it's no more o k u d a n Tena Wake de Shimada des. Mito Tori, Shingoto de Shashin Torini Kimasta. Yoshkne. Mouth curving into a friendly smile, Shimada lifted up his SLR camera. So he was a professional photographer, huh? His cool clothes, his cool clothes trendy haircut, and line of work all combined to make him seem like someone from a totally different world to mine. After all, I was just some broke schmuck who landed the trip in a lottery. Ah, Toshiwa, 24. This is the same thing. もうそうそうそんな感じ特に反対意見もないみたいだしこのまま次の人って流れで構わないか A few people voiced their agreement. That meant I was up next. Looking around at the group, I went ahead and introduced myself. アズマです。貧乏アルバイターです。趣味はカレー作りです無人島生活をエンジョイしたいと思ってますよろしくあーえっとそれじゃあ次は俺宝です趣味とか言わないとダメ Honey, you can say whatever you want. 言いたくなきゃ言わなくていいって I just said whatever popped into my head when I shook my head Takara smiled in relief みんなと仲良くできたら嬉しいなって思ってますよろしくお願いしますよし俺は松田普通にサラリーマンをやってる27歳だ Wait, office drone. I totally forgot. The big eye was dressed in sportswear and the limbs peeking out from his clothes were corded with muscle. His voice was deep and booming and his smile was dazzling. The dude seemed fit to burst with vitality. I could not say this entire fucking sentence for the life of me. ツアーに申し込んだ理由は釣りこの島じゃ大物が釣れるって噂を聞いてさああ釣りバカ的なバカは余計だでも合ってるわ He walked, running a hand through a short, neat hair. His outfit made sense considering he was here to fish. He was only 27, huh? I figured he was older. お前、確かアズマだったか。There was a threatening note to his voice. I looked over and my eyes met his narrowed ones. はい。今、もっと年食ってると思ってたって顔したな。I started. How the hell did he know? He was right, though. Figuring there was no point in trying to hide it, I nodded. Hey, Moto, we need me, Mashta. Yap, but in a Yoko, you are in the Fuket Rutte. Natsuda scratched the back of his head awkwardly. <laughs> But he seemed like a chill enough dude, and I got the impression that he probably had a decent sense of humor. 40歳くらいに見えたっす。10歳以上も上に
<laughs> すみません。嘘はよくねえと思って。Be a bad thing to lie to Papa Bear after all. うん、そうだな。嘘はよくねえな。でもな、円満な人間関係にはオブラートって大事なんじゃねえかな。いやだな、冗談っすよ。せいぜい三十くらいかなって。<笑>安心したよ。I knew he could take a joke. Still, maybe I got a little carried away teasing the guy about his age. Now that. Now it was time to throw him a life preserver with a change of topic. ところで、松田さん。俺も釣りやってみたい。釣った魚ってその場で調理して食うのが普通なんだよな、確か。というわけじゃないかもしんねえけどそうして食った方がうめえのは間違いねえなマジっすか釣りたての新鮮な魚松田さんがバンバン釣り上げてくれるんでしょ楽しみだなあと超腹減ってきたお前年上にごまするのうまいタイプだろう。でも、彼は、ネオンのヘッドで、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、彼は、ダメ語でいいよ。呼び捨てもな。気軽に行こうぜ。<笑>そうする。I n o t d letting him know it was fine by me. I felt like I was gonna get along with him. Yeah, that was what it was. そんなにいい釣りスポットなんだ、とがじまって。おっとお前いつの間にタクラフェンスティングショートディスンスウェイイスンリーライトサイドミーまあ知る人ぞ知るってくらいの認知度だと思うけどなだからこそ穴場なんだろうへえそうなんだアズマが魚釣ったら俺も一緒に食べたいなおやもちろんだ全身飢餓状態にして待ってろよそういえば東くんと宝くん年はいくつこのツアーにはどうして参加したのあ、俺年は二十歳です福引きでこのツアーのチケットが当たったんだ二十歳って You sure didn't look it, but even more surprising was. Yeah, who could be? But oh my, who could be? I thought, no, eh? The cotua, Moshka, the Azuma monano? Huh, or more short and kind of who could be there, Kono Yoko Atetanda. Yes, get goose and dana. えー、そうなのアズマもそうだったなんてなんだか嬉しいなああ俺の他にもいるんだろうなとは思ってたけどまさか宝がそうだったなんてな<笑>それとお前の年が二十歳ってのも割といやかなりびっくりした割中学生だと思ってて。ああよく言われるからもう慣れてるけどさ童顔なのは俺のチャームポイントだと思うことにしてるんでにしても中学生はひどくない俺そこまでチビじゃないでしょせめて高校生くらいに思ってほしかった
<笑>次からそうするって次なんてないから Raising his hand to calm the heated exchange, Shimoda turned to face me. Haha, なるほど。経緯だけはよくわかった。それで、アズマ君は年いくつだったっけ俺は二十二歳。なるほど。みんな、それほど年齢が離れてなくてよかったね。ジェネレーションギャップとか旅先でまで感じたくないからちょっと安心したシマダスポークティーズングリー・ウォキアウンフォーグリーメントマッツェダ・ナーディアルドウィルトゥ・ウォスプライズシマダさんでもそんなの感じんのか流行に敏感そうだから若い連中とも話が合いそうな気してたんだけど若すぎることはさすがにもう無理だよ。へえ、そうなんだ。って合図近いすので精一杯。どんな内容であれ、話を聞くのもするのも好きだし、身になるけどね。いや、実に立派な心構えだな。俺も見習うことにしよう。そんな大げさな。シマダ shook his head with a laugh, then cast a quick glance behind him. There, leaning against the railing of the deck, examining a sheaf of papers that appeared to be some kind of document, stood Goldilocks. The dude sure wasn't a team player. そこのお兄さんは自己紹介しないの Maybe he just didn't hear. The waves must have carried Shimato's. Shimato's. The waves. I'm sorry, I called him Shimato by an accident. The waves must have carried Shimato's words over because the bastard glanced up from his papers and gave us an imperious look. Ah, Sumasa. Choto tega hanasenakte. Atto. Jiko shokai da take? He shoved the pile of papers into his bag before striding briskly over to us. Accompanied by the sharp slap of his leather shoes against the deck, Goldilocks joined our circle. Although he didn't summon a smile, his tone was unnaturally friendly. Mitsugi, Toshu a Nijugo, Shigoto no Kanke de Kimasta. Don't act like it's not love at first sight, Azuma. I was a little surprised to find out he was older than me. I wasn't gonna hold on to a grudge over what happened earlier, but I still didn't like the guy. That's probably why I felt like I didn't want to be less than anything. What? That's probably why I felt like I didn't want to be less than him in anything. Okay. Well, you already are. Kenchikushi. Ma. 建築デザインとかもいろいろオールマイティにやってんだけどオールマイティ建築士ってあれもこれもできるものなの必要なスキルさえあれば。Okay. Mitsugi offered us a. Mitsugi offered us all a friendly, disarming smile. I stiffened. What was his deal? His attitude right now didn't match mine. His attitude right now didn't match my earlier impression of him. Maybe he wasn't just a bad guy after all, but then what was that all about on the stairs? Just then, Mitsugi noticed my stare. Our eyes met for a brief moment. But then his eyes narrowed coldly, and he turned to Matsuda as though I didn't even exist. <laughs> Overdramatic, Azuma. Take a shot. 
I've been waiting for that. The fuck? Did he have some? Are we going to continue that? No? Okay. That's my... That's my spoon sliding in the bowl. Okay. Did he have some kind of problem with me? Guess he wasn't joking when he told me to stay away from him, huh? What the hell did I ever do to him anyway? You turned him on. Well, if that was how he wanted to do this, bring it on. Like I gave a rat's ass about him either. Really? That face screams more like confused to me. Or unsure. <laughs> Is that a good or bad thing, though? Beyond Takura's Bimiya's tone, the rest of the group were still introducing themselves. I was so preoccupied with working myself up over Mitsugi, I didn't catch most of it. Whoopsie. そうだ。せっかくだから記念撮影とかどう。これも何かの縁なんだしさ。記念撮影島田さんが撮ってくれんの。もちろん。島田 それでは、お言葉に甘えて、参加させていただきます。わーいあ、そっちの皆さんも一緒に記念撮影どうですかタクラ called out excitedly to the huddle of four guys, but they said they'd pass. それじゃあ、三木さんは? Ugh, why would he... why would we even want that asshole in it? Oh, and he agreed to it. The photo better not turn out cursed because of him. The only curse is the island in this game that I know of. Kind of, sort of, maybe. There, there's some kind of curse on that island, that's for damn sure. Shimano quickly set up a tripod, the swing of the boat giving him a little trouble. Hongo and Matsuda checked the angle of the camera and gone into position. この辺か?あ、いいね。みんなもそっちに立ってくれる? Truly a photographer. お仲間に入れていただけて嬉しいです。本当に。Sure, why not? Hongo-san,水臭いことなしっすよ。Yes, we're all attractive men here. Except kind of Takura. あ、俺、アズマの隣に立っていい。いちいち聞くなんて水臭いっすよ。はあ。なあ、どうだ。全員映ってるか。うん、大丈夫。バッチリ。よし、タイマーも設定完了。5秒後にシャッターだからね。With that, Shimada joined our group. Some. Ni. Each. I struck a pose I thought would look pretty cool. I was definitely gonna come out looking like a heartthrob in this shot. <laughs> Just before the shutter clicked, I was sure I heard Takura snickered beside me. Nope. Oh. Right, I forgot about that. I was feeling confident about killing it in the photo until the boat suddenly shook. Caught off guard, I stumbled so embarrassingly that not even my what fluttering, not even my flattering pose could save me. Everyone laughed and I joined them. At that moment, I truly believed this was going to be the greatest trip ever. Little did he know.
Yeah, there's definitely a curse on this island. I don't know what the curse necessarily is, but it's something. Well, that's what a curse is. It's something. It's not nothing. After the round of introductions and the photo shoot, Hongo checked his launch. では、しばし自由時間といたしましょうか。何かあったら読んでください。Gotcha. はい。今後の予定などは島に上陸してから改めてご説明いたしますが、何かと気になることもあるでしょう。些細なことでも構いませんので、気軽にお尋ねくださいね。Following Takaro's enthusiastic OK, people grab their luggage and went their separate ways. The guys whose introductions I missed grouped together and went below deck. I, st Oop. I stayed behind after getting a sudden urge to organize all the crap I'd hastily shoved into my bag at the last minute. I sat cross-legged on the deck and piling up atop my thighs was a towel, another towel, some clothes, some toiletries, and another towel. Feeling like I was losing control of the situation sounds like me on a daily basis. I threw my hands up in despair. Would <sighs> come in handy for sex, I guess. Yeah, you pack stupid things. どうせしまついたら使うんだから、今更そんなことしないでもいいんじゃないの？使いやすい程度にはまとめておきてよ。へえ、意外ときっちりしてんだね。ま、頑張りなよ。俺はちょっと散歩してくるから。けど、ここで散歩するほど広くなくね。クルーザーなんて乗ったことないもん。見たいとこがたくさんあるんです。探検してくれ。アディオス。じゃ、また後でね。いや、ライクアサイドアディオス。タカーゲイミアマークスルート
I could no longer hear the cries of seagulls, which must mean we'd reached open ocean. Is that a fact? The breeze was pleasantly cool and the rhythmic sound of waves had a mentally cleansing effect. It was also boring. I could hear voices coming from the stern, although I couldn't see who the although I couldn't see who they belong What? Although I couldn't see who the belonged to. <laughs> Maybe I should go join them. Looking out at the ocean would get old pretty quick, but finding a spot to settle down with a book might not be a bad idea. And though the boat was pretty small, there was probably still stuff to see, so there was also the option of going for a wander around. Okay. Easy mode doesn't do anything for these. <laughs> so, just in case, I'm going to save. Uh, if I exit, okay. And although the boat looks pretty small, they're probably still stuck to see, so... What does easy mode mean, then? Hmm... I assumed easy mode would mean, like, an icon would appear right here saying, like, you're going in a different person's direction than, uh, Mitsugi and, what's his name, Matsudo. Let's see, what's this? Mm. Cool, finally new dialogue and new dialogue. I figured the salty breeze would feel good on my face as the boat cut through the waves, sending up plumes of spray. Making my way around the cabin, I headed to the front of the boat. Alright, who are we gonna see? But when I arrived, I found the deck deserted. Uh. Well, this was lonely. I moved as close to the edge as I could get, gripped the railing, and turned my face upward. A sudden gust of wind billowed over me, and for a moment I felt like I was flying. <sighs> Should we call him Leonardo DiCaprio now? I stood like that for a while, gazing out at the flat, unending horizon without so much as a boat to break it. I felt as though I had tossed out. I felt as though I had been tossed out into the wide open world all alone. <laughs> Not the word emo. <laughs> I chuckled under my breath. That's probably why those choices are like that, because they're not anyone specifically, they're Ozuma choices. Somewhere out beyond that horizon lay the boring old life I left behind this morning. I felt the urge to spit at it, but the realization that it was way beyond my reach was kind of a relief. You could spit in general. Who is it? Captain? Sensing someone behind me, I spun around to see the captain standing there. The old man froze in his tracks. He seemed agitated. He was probably trying to slip past me quietly without interrupting the moment I was having with the sea. He bowed his head apologetically, then hurried back to the cockpit without a word. Compared to Hongo, he was definitely lacking in people skills. No, that can't be it. Still, I don't suppose the sea captain needs people skills. <sighs> no, that can't be that the blank ones are Ozuma choices because that wouldn't make sense. Then all those Mitsugi ones I that I made that weren't like plus mix um then all those Mitsugi ones I made that were with his icon. Then that would mean the ones that when I was playing for Mitsugi's route, that didn't have an icon would have meant all of them were like Azuma choices, which couldn't be it. I stayed there gazing out at the ocean for a while longer. A few hours later. 
Since I'd only seen boats like this on TV and never actually been aboard one before, it was fun at first. However, no matter no matter how interesting it was to look around the boat or gaze out at the scenery, it wasn't enthralling enough to keep me entertained for hours. After just one hour, I'd already exhausted all there was to do. So now here I was, sitting on a bench at the side of the deck, playing a game on my phone. Hmm. Himada. Solitaire, Candy Crush, um, Blitz, Bingo, Bingo Blitz. What kind of game, Azuma? I was bored as hell. Well, that does sound like being on a boat to me. My hand fell limply to the seat of the bench, phone still clutched in it. I felt like Hongo had told us our expected arrival time at the island, but I couldn't remember what he'd said. I didn't even really know what time we'd set on. Bored of my game, I figured I could waste some time on social media or something, but we were already out of signal range. I didn't feel like going inside for food, and I wasn't in the mood to read my book either. What were the other options up to? Oh, <laughs> what were the other options up to? What were the others up to? Maybe I'd have more fun if I went and found someone to hang out with. Having said that, I didn't really feel up for talking with anyone. I didn't really feel up for talking with people either. Tipping my head back against the bench, I stared up at the sky. Ah, the Right, this scene. I looked toward the boys to find Shimada standing there. I had no reason to refuse, so I scooted over to make room on the bench. Shimada seated himself in the space I'd made, then turned his camera to the sky and pressed the shutter. This was a digital camera, not the SLR camera he'd had hanging around his neck. いろんな種類のカメラ Whatever he said, there was clear affection in the way he patted his camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> そういうものだよ。ところでさ、写真<笑> うん、<笑> His eyes crinkled as he smiled, then he backed away and readied his camera. Unsure where to direct my gaze, I finally settled on looking straight at the camera lens. 
was like being watched by a giant eye. Ah, なるほど。やっぱりいいね。I was standing there feeling uncomfortable. Shimada's voice reached my ears. He sounded inspired. いいねって何がちょっと横向いてくれる Instead of answering, Shimada pointed toward my left side. Figuring there was a certain angle he wanted to capture, I hesitantly turned my head in the direction he had indicated. Immediately after, I heard the click of a camera. ほら、取るよ。やっぱりアズマ君は鼻があるね。鼻？ちょっと。うん、一目見た時から思ってたんだ。この子は被写体として入るだろうなって。It was love at first sight, wasn't it? So, no, 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 Still, I couldn't help but smile at the compliment. After taking a look at the camera display, Shimada nodded, seemingly satisfied, and looked up at me. Just then, I heard footsteps coming toward us. Ah, o f t a r i t o m o c o c o n i r a s t a n d e s n e a t o j u p u n h o d o e s h i m a n i j o r i k s u r i o t e d e s n o d e g o y o i o o n e g a i s h i m a s Eh? Leaning a hand on the back of the bench, I stretched up on tiptoes to survey the horizon. Sure enough, a tiny speck of green land was visible in the distance. <笑>あれが無人島はいあれが皆さんにお過ごしいただく場所ですへえ陸がポツンと一つあるだけなんだねはあいかにも無人な感じがする。I heard the click of a shutter again. Thank you, Kawaranak, the Yokata, this ne. To Mukomo, Sugosia Seki on the show. Ah, Nakani Yoi Stoita Keshok desga, Moshi Okchini Aisona Monoga Gozai Mastra, Goji Nio Mochita Daite Kamaimasen. Yes, take them because you will be stranded. You'll need the food. Shonichi desno de Roghouse Ni Nimotso Oitara. ご案内させていただくことがたくさんございまして食事の支度に取り掛かっていただくまでにお腹が減ってしまうかと思いますからそっかなら早いとこを取りに行かないと人気のご飯はなくなっちゃうかもよ行こう東君おそうっすね急いで行きましょう Jacking our luggage along with us, we hurried toward the cabin. With land fast approaching, it seemed that I wasn't the only one feeling hyper. 
Excitement is a familiar feeling when you're a kid, but as adults, we tend to want to hide it. Do we? Have you seen the internet? Being calm and collected at all times is a hallmark of being an adult. The internet will disagree. But then again, <laughs> Twitter's kind of an unusual place, and so is TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> done with the shots for right now, so. While the vacation hadn't gone off to the best start, at some point during the boat ride it turned into smooth sailing. But little did I know this was only the beginning of the end. Maybe the end for poor Asuma, I'm not entirely sure. Where this place is. Everyone, Okay. Yeah. Hongo called back to us from the land, and we began to file off the boat more alongside the jetty. Moored alongside the jetty. Fuck. Although it was a desert island as a tourist spot, it was set up to receive visitors. I surveyed the land from atop the boat. The crying gulls that had circled over the port we departed from were absent here. The only sounds were the hush of the waves and the distant rustling of the greenery that covered the land. Island, whatever. The boat's engine had stilled and our footsteps echoed loudly across the deck. Even the sound of the water slapping against the side of the boat seemed amplified. You in that damn suitcase. I was at the very end of the line of people waiting to get off the boat. I turned my gaze to Takra, who was struggling with his heavy luggage in front of me. Knowing this had happened, I had already offered to help him, but he turned me down, and now here we were. <laughs> I haven't had much coffee today, I swear, after I finish this, I'm getting some coffee. It had taken two of us to get his luggage on the boat, so I figured we'd need two of us to get it back off. Still, Takara was insisting on doing it himself, and despite appearances, he was a fully grown man. Better to let him learn his own lessons. Really? Okay. Urusai! <laughs> <sighs> like a knight in shining armor, Natsuda extended a hand from the jetty. Matsuda Matsuda leaned forward to take the case, but as soon as he grasped the handle, his expression changed. Ne? I knew the feeling all too well. That case was heavy as fuck. What does he have in this case? He'd probably been thinking he could easily hoist it over the gap and onto the pier, no problem. Ah, yabari omoi? Azuma ni mo yuaretan da yo ne. Doshio. Yabai? We throw it overboard and you have no more clothes. Ah, sumimase. Otetsuda ita shimas. Kono ni motsu o oroseba in desne. No, I want this luggage off the damn boat and in the water. I want it. I want it to sink into the ocean. <laughs> here comes the here, Not here comes our gozi yawning again. Before I could lend a hand, Hongo hurried over from where he'd been with the rest of the group and helped get the bag down without incident. Apparently, Takro's luggage was a two person kind of deal. <sighs> Glancing at Takro as he bobbed his head gratefully to the two men, I hoisted my backpack over my shoulder and set off along the jetty alone. 
White sand stretched out before me, and beyond the beach was the thick, lush forest. I could smell sea salt and the fresh scent of greenery. I think I made a joke last time. I guess I don't have any Japan about this. Squinting into the distance, I didn't see anything further along the beach, so they were probably somewhere behind the trees. I felt a little let down. It would have been nice to have a beachfront cabin with a sea view. Sure. <sighs> After seeing that we were all off the boat and having a brief discussion with the captain, Hongo hurried back over to the group. まずはここからログハウスまで徒歩で移動します。森の中とは申しましても、整地されている道を進みますので、ご安心ください。おおよそ5分ほどで。after Hongo had relayed the instructions, the group of four friends whose introductions I had caught set off at the head of the group. Because they're irrelevant characters. Except to be killed off in this game. Natsuda and Takara and along, the jetty together engaged in unpleasant conversation. <laughs> Deciding to give them some space, I was about to follow after Hongo and the others when I realized something. Natsugi was walking just up ahead of me. A low boyfriend material. If I walked at my usual pace, I'd definitely catch up to him. I absolutely did not want to end up walking next to that douchebag. Sand crunched beneath my feet as I casually slowed my pace. Looking down at my feet, I was suddenly greatly interested in the indentations I left in the sand, the different colors of the individual grains, and the way the seawater soaked into it and receded. Out of the corner of my eye, I spied something small and black. I actually looked up black crabs. I don't think I've ever seen them black before. From somewhere close by, I heard the click of a camera. Figuring it must be Shimada, I turned toward the source of the sound, and sure enough, there he was. When he met my gaze, Shimada's smile deepened. After a moment, he came to stand beside me. Abruptly, Shimada cast his gaze up ahead. Up ahead, Natsugi's golden locks fluttered in the wind. <laughs> so immature. Did the dude think he was in a freaking shampoo commercial? Did he want me to shave it all off? Seriously, don't tell me. It's not like you didn't love it last time. When Natsugi nonchalantly turned around, I pointedly looked the other way. ああ、カメラマンなんだっけ。どうぞ。ありがとう。じゃあ、そのまま後ろを向いてていいから。Natsugi's eyes widened ever so slightly and then he smiled. 
The smile was only aimed at Shimada, though. The bastard was acting as though I didn't even exist. That should make you happy. It's a pretty nice smile, too. <笑>後ろ姿でいいのかよ。言ってくれればどんなポーズでも撮るのに。よし、ケン。それ、アズマ君も言ってたね。そんなに気になるポーズって。もう。うん。船でアズマ君の写真も撮らせてもらったんだ